CompTIA A Plus Core 1 Complete Train Course. Exam Objective 3.1 Explain Basic Cable Types and Their Connectors, Features, and Purposes. Hard Drive Cables. Continuing with our learning of various cable types, this video has us focusing on hard drive cables. And the first hard drive cable type I will cover is the Small Computer System Interface, or SCSI. SCSI is an older interface technology, originally designed for connecting multiple internal and external hard drives to a computer. And although SCSI was once widely used in servers and high-performance workstations, it has largely been replaced by other newer technologies due to cost and complexity. At its core, SCSI operates by connecting multiple SCSI devices together in a chain-like fashion. Each SCSI device has two SCSI ports, one for incoming data and one for outgoing data. To string multiple SCSI drives together, you typically connect the output of one device to the import of the next device. This creates a sequential connection allowing data to flow from one device to the next. Next, let's discuss Integrated Drive Electronics, or IDE. IDE, also known as Parallel ATA, or PADA, was once the standard interface for connecting older storage devices to a computer's motherboard. IDE cables are wide, flat ribbons with multiple connectors for attaching older hard disk drives, optical drives, and other devices. However, IDE has largely been replaced by SATA due to its slower data transfer speeds and limited support for newer technologies. IDE is now mostly found in older computers and legacy systems. Moving on, we have Serial Advanced Technology Attachment, commonly known as SATA. SATA is a type of interface used to connect newer storage devices, such as newer hard disk drives and solid-state drives, to the motherboard of a computer. It's the most common type of interface found in modern computers due to its high-speed data transfer rates and ease of use. SATA cables typically have a thin, flat design with a small L-shaped connector. They are widely used in desktops, laptops, and servers for internal storage connections. Lastly, let's cover external SATA or eSATA. eSATA is an extension of the SATA interface designed specifically for connecting external storage devices. It provides the same high-speed data transfer rates as internal SATA connections but allows for the connection of devices outside of the computer case. eSATA cables resemble internal SATA cables but have stronger connectors to withstand the rigors of external use. Common use cases for eSATA include connecting external hard drives, SSDs, and optical drives to a computer for additional storage or backup purposes. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.